going to be using the e.l.f. eyeshadow. <laughs> hey guys, it's Rebecca and Mia and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, um, I'll be teaching you how to do the Teddy Fresh Times Ripen Dip makeup tutorial. So I don't know if you guys seen the picture where it's like, so this is a Ripen Dip Teddy Fresh right here. This is the new, um, slippers and they're just the cutest thing ever and look at that and it's like embroidered ah! okay <laughs> my favorites okay so <laughs> this is rip and dip this teddy fresh so they collab and their latest collaboration featured this really cool plush doll it's a half the face is half rip and dip lord nerm and look lord normal and the other half is teddy from teddy fresh and i thought oh my god it would be so cool if i did like of that but like really cool like half and half like teddy fresh and rip and dip so let's get started Woo! i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited like look at this i'm just so cute like, okay so before anything i'm going to actually because i already have makeup on i'm just going to be taking it off so i'm going to be using my pacifica coconut water and um, just some cotton pads. And I got 600 subscribers, now it's 700 subscribers, like crazy, like what the fuck? Also, the giveaway ends today, which is crazy. So, oh my god, oh my god. Congratulations to the winner, whoever you are. Freaking awesome, and thank you so much for supporting me and everything. This is like, it's cool guys, it's cool. Alright guys, so, the first things first, we have to prep our face. So I'm going to use Blemish Control Elf Face Primer. I'm just going to put that all over my face. Alright guys, so I'm going to get my brushes out for my ribbon dip pouch. Did I use my makeup brushes? We're going to be using this Eco Tool sponge. I'm going to be dampening it a little bit and then... I just broke it. I'm just gonna be dampening it and then putting it in the wipe. If you have like any other white cream or like white face paint, I suggest you doing that because I just ran out of mine. So we'll see what you know, I'll just try to scrape everything out and just put it on my face. I'm just gonna get like a lot of the white and I'm just gonna put half of the face white. Right side, I'm going to be making ripened it. I'm following the um the picture, you know, from online of the plush doll. So we're gonna be doing that. And let's get started. Let's get started, started, let's get started. Alright, so once you have everything kind of like good, you know, now we're just going to set it and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD powder and I'm going to be using a Wet n Wild, I think this is a blush brush, but like, you know, let's do it. So for all my skaters out there who really want to do this look, I do suggest buying stuff from e.l.f because their line is really affordable and really good honestly and yeah you know because i'm like the beauty guru that's like cross between like i'm like i bring skaters and we can groove together because you know we're finna eh. <laughs> funny all right guys so then i'm going to be going in with the james uh charles times morphe palette and i'm going to be using the white one i forgot one. sorry all right and with that same brush so i could have like a more um you know, I wanted more white, you know what I'm saying? So, it's gonna be crisp because it's, it's ripping it. Yeah, no, no. This one's not mine, it's my brother's, so I can't use too much, you know what I mean? Alright, so next is the nose. I'm gonna be working on the, the small details, and I'm going to be going in with the Kat Von D tattoo liner. This one's the small version. So, I'm gonna just be doing like. It's kind of like a, a semi-triangle, half of the triangle. Like a rounded triangle because his nose is a little rounded, you know? Done. And now I'm going to paint it pink. For the pink, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild uh, Matte Liquid Lip Lipstick in pink really hard. So I'm just going to be going in and just basically coloring it in. If you can't color it in like just with the wand itself, I suggest using like a small angled brush or small detailed brush, just getting it and then just actually applying it like that, you know? Cool, huh? So, I have my half nose. 
All right, so now the next thing is we're just gonna continue the line down and go do a little mm, like, mm, thing, you know, for his little smile. So the Teddy Fresh smile is gonna go a little more down, so that's gonna be more on your cheek. But for the ribbon dip, I'm gonna want it a little small down on my lip and go up. And with like his small like smirk thing, gonna be on my chin probably. All right, so we're gonna just draw the line down. Basically, gonna be drawing uh, half of your nose, like on your nostril, just half of that. All over down until the middle of your lip. So now that you're there, you're gonna thicken the line. <laughs> you're gonna thicken the line a little bit. Now you're going to paint. I'm not paint. You're gonna put on the liquid lipstick just on the top of the lip because it is just his little smirk. So you don't need to do the bottom lip. I look like cat in the hat. <laughs> So now that you have this like that, I'm just going to like honestly kind of like extend it a little out. Oh, this looks cool! Alright, so now that I have his little smirk, I'm going to go down a little below here. Because to continue his like actual smirk, because that's just his mouth. I just did his mouth. Now you see how he always has like the bottom line. So for his bottom lip, I'm going to go back with the Kevin D tattoo liner. my makeup now we're just gonna be putting the little small two like dots where his whiskers are with the same tattoo liner now that i have the whiskers done oh this looks cool so now we're just gonna do the eyes now so for the eyes i do want it so when i close my eyes that's what i want like you guys to see like the black you know like the all right so for the eyes i'm going to be going in with the James Charles Morphe palette again and I'm going to be using to try to get like a like a similar color I'm gonna be using this blue right here I forgot what it's called but it's this one going in with a crease brush and I was going to go in in that blue right there shoot I forgot this is pigmented I have a, going in on um, basically all over my crease all right so we're just gonna I'm just gonna keep on darkening it up until I do like you know like the color that the the pigment that I want it to be now it's time to do, draw the actual details of the eye so you're just basically gonna do your normal eyeliner but take that and basically you're gonna draw like another eye on top of your eye all right so now that you have your regular eyeliner you're basically gonna take that go a little up as if you're doing a winged eyeliner but you're gonna curve it and that's gonna be the start of your eye so you're just gonna follow you're just gonna follow your crease and you're gonna close it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Now we're just gonna be cutting our eye in half, cutting our crease in half, but vertically. When I close my eyes, you can see it's his eye. Lord Nurm, he has Teddy Fresh's ears. I got, I've had this hat for like a long time, ever since I went to um, high school, I think. I, I wore it for like a costume when I had a concert or something like that. And so I'm just gonna get that ear and put it on this side so, you know, we have that cool, you know what I mean? Ah! All right, so but that's gonna be for the ending. You'll see how everything ties it together. Now let's work on the teddy side. Woo! All right, so for the teddy fresh, I'm really excited. I did find like two exact colors in this palette that match Teddy himself, you know, his darker brown and his lighter brown like inside like oh, so I think I'm just gonna go with that and I'm basically just gonna be leaving from the nose all around my cheek because that side's where his um, his snout is all right let's get started let's get started all right to set that side in I'm going to be going in with this brown color and just um what's it called just setting it we're just gonna go in with this one because I kind of messed up a little on that one. Now that I have half of Teddy's freshes face, half of it done, I'm going to be going in with just his snout color. And then it's gonna be like kind of like a goldenish color. So hopefully this works. So to set this in place, his cheek part, I'm going to be using this. For the nose, we're just gonna fill it in completely black because his nose is completely black. All right, so for Teddy's face, it's going to be his um, smile. It's gonna be a little lower. So it's gonna go kind of into the cheek. So it's gonna be like this, right there. So now I'm just gonna darken that line. 
I look like a stiff ass. I'm looking bad. <laughs> Ew, whose eyebrows are those? Follow me on some. Ew, you look the actually it's not that bad. <laughs> Now it's gonna outline where the his uh, snout meets his face right here. All right, so this is gonna be a thin line that you're gonna do. Oh, that is cool! All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is is Teddy's eyes. So all you're just gonna do is just get an, a black eyeshadow. Okay, I'm gonna be going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, and I'm gonna be going with a little, what is it called? <laughs> Shacks. I'm going to be going in with the black shade called Shacks. I'm gonna be using the Elf eyeshadow. Shut up! <coughs> I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush a little below your eye. It happens to sponges? Yes! My thing went huge! Ew. Ew. So we're just gonna outline his eye so you can see the shape. Alright, so now we're just gonna do the little cross marks of where the stitches are supposed to be on the plush doll. This is so cool. So I'm just gonna be going in back with that Kat Von D tattoo liner. So we're just gonna do an X, X. X, X, and I think one small X down here. Okay, now we're all stitched up. Woo! So now I'm just gonna get into my costume and I'm gonna be showing you guys the finished results. Alright, guys, so now we're just gonna set our face with the Morphe Times Jeffree Star Starberry Scent. Mine. I oh, I went, oh, a dollar for spraying that. Oh, that sounds like, that sounds good. Okay. So I DIY this cute bandana. I got this actual bear band, uh, headband from Hot Topic. And ooh, I just used tape and I used my liquid lipstick to paint the pink in it. Look how cool this looks. Ooh! And I came with gloves, so I'm just using one glove here. Use liquid lips. Oh, look how cool, guys! Ah, okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys a little in, and oh, this is it! Woo! Look how cool this looks! Alright, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and turn post notifications on. Thanks guys, see you next time, bye! I really hope you guys like this look, ah, bye guys!